Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you how I reversed my hypothyroidism slash Hashimoto's and I am going to give you blood test results from before and after. If you are interested in that, just keep watching. Before you do, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a video with me. Let's go ahead and get into the video now. All right guys, so I have a little disclaimer before I get into this video. Number one is what works for me doesn't mean that's exactly what is going to work for you. The things that I'm about to talk about are things that I'm very very passionate about. I've done so much research and over so many years and discovered so many things about my body that I did not know about before. Even if nobody in the world ever watches this video, it's still worth it to have that information out there. Even if it just helps one person get to where they need to be, it's so so worth it and that is why I want to make this video. This video is kind of different from my normal videos that I put out there but I did want to put this information out there and just let you you guys know exactly how I was able to completely heal my hypothyroidism. I think that it's a blessing that I was able to do that and it's a blessing that I was able to even have the information and it's a blessing that it worked for me. I really hope that some of these tips help you as well if you are struggling with that. So I'm going to talk a little bit about my personal experience with it, my history a little bit, and then I'm going to tell you exactly how I fixed it. And I mainly fixed it with changing one thing so it is it is pretty easy it's pretty simple and then at the end I'll share with you my before and after blood test results as well okay so just to give you a little bit of a background on me I was diagnosed with PCOS when I was 18 years old from the age of like eight <laughs> till about a year ago I was not able to lose weight ever I always wondered what was wrong with me why am I so overweight I don't understand what is happening I would try to lose weight nothing would happen I would do low carb diets I would starve myself I would drink these these Metafast shakes and I would do crazy amounts of exercise and I was I was an active person to begin with like I was an active individual I did cheerleading in high school and middle school and I was very I was a very active person so it's not like I was sitting on the couch like why am I not losing weight so I got diagnosed with PCOS whenever I was 18 they didn't really do any blood testing or anything like that they just put me on birth control and was like here you go this will make you have your period because I wasn't having my period for like eight months at a time fast forward like several years I went to a new doctor who tested my blood and she said that I also had insulin resistance and I was still never able to lose weight. Nobody really told me what I needed to do. Someone tried to put me on metformin a couple of times and because of the insulin resistance, but the metformin was just bottoming out my blood sugar and doing nothing for me at all. I stopped taking the metformin and <laughs> eventually I went to a thyroid doctor, I went to a gastroenterologist, I went to so many different doctors trying to figure out what was wrong with me and their only answer to me was, nothing is wrong with you, nothing's wrong with your thyroid nothing's wrong with your stomach or your intestines nothing is like topically wrong with you according to modern medicine so I'm just I'm having anxiety all the time panic attacks like all of these things that is going on with me I'm just like wow I cannot live the rest of my life like this so it was very very stressful for me the doctors were just giving me a last resort of like we can try this weight loss pill for you or we can have you ever thought about bypass gastric bypass or weight loss surgery and i'm just like there has got to be another way like there has got to be another way i have to find out what's wrong with me i knew deep down that something was wrong with me and so i did not stop until i got answers and mind you this is the short version of my journey my my journey was for the last like eight years of, of like actively trying to figure out what's wrong with me so I had seen on Facebook one of my friends I knew that she had PCOS and some issues going on and I had seen on Facebook that she had lost like a significant amount of weight so I messaged her and I was like hey girl like what have you been doing how have you been able to lose weight you know like at this point I think I was trying out plexus and I was trying to see if that would work for me and it wasn't working for me at all <laughs> and um but I knew that she had done plexus at one point so I messaged her and I was like hey what are you doing and she's like oh I went to this all-natural holistic doctor here's her number and I was like okay well I've tried modern medicine I'm going to go try a holistic doctor so then 
a couple of months later I went for the like full on like I got blood work done I got a massive amount of blood work done I went there and like spent hours there of like working out exactly what was wrong so what we determined was wrong with me was that I had hypothyroidism and Hashimoto's but it was in the early stages now let me read you my blood results okay so what made us determine that something was wrong with my thyroid was that my thyroid peroxidase antibodies were so so high they're supposed to be between 0 and 34 and mine was 114 my thyroid globulin antibodies is supposed to be 0 and no more than 1 and it was at 7.10 if you don't know what this means it means that my body was trying to attack my thyroid my body was in inflammation mode it's going towards my thyroid and is attacking my thyroid it is in the process of destroying my thyroid which would eventually lead to me having to take medicine to make up for those hormones that weren't being produced properly also my t3 was a tiny bit high and my t3 uptake was a tiny bit low so that is why I got diagnosed with Hashimoto's and that is why I started following a new diet that would eventually help me to reduce those antibodies reduce inflammation in my body and reverse and prevent the hypothyroidism for getting worse and kind of putting it into remission now just a disclaimer this took about nine months for me I immediately started the AIP diet I took a couple of supplements like for my vitamin D was really low and I took some other like uh, like selenium and things like that I am not going to recommend anything to take for you because I think that you should work with a natural medicine doctor or do the research yourself for that kind of thing I'm not a doctor so I don't want to suggest supplements I just want to tell you what worked for me and I think the main thing that worked for me was my diet I ate a 100% AIP diet and I did not cheat at all if I did ever have tiny tiny bits of something it would still be paleo and I never had gluten or dairy if you don't know what AIP is it is called the autoimmune protocol some people call it the autoimmune paleo diet and what it is is you cut out all grains all nuts all seeds nightshades which is like eggplant and peppers and tomatoes you also cut out dairy and i am missing something else but basically you just eat fruits vegetables and meats and really you want to have a limited amount of fruit because you don't want to have a massive amount of sugar intake what this does is it doesn't allow your body to be inflamed now i don't want to get too off topic but leaky gut is a big part of uh any autoimmune disorder or any kind of hypothyroidism anything that's going on autoimmune wise the AIP diet will help you because it is an AIP diet but what autoimmune diseases start with is leaky gut if you don't know what that is do some research on it that is something else that I focused on the last few months but the majority of everything that worked for me was doing the AIP diet for nine months I got my blood work back so I just wanted to tell you the difference four months made because I got blood work done four months later and then nine months later my thyroid peroxidase antibodies so it was at 114 and four months after doing the AIP diet it went down to 59 now mind you it's still not supposed to be above 34 so it was still high but it went in half in four months just by just by eating the AIP diet and then my thyroid globulin antibodies went from 7.1 to 3.5 now again that was still high but it was significantly different significantly in half I also reduced my c-reactive protein as well and your if you don't know what your c-reactive protein is it's something that indicates inflammation in your body and kind of it puts you at risk for certain things because you have so much inflammation going on so after nine months of doing the AIP diet I'm still on the AIP diet now I have lost 126 pounds so far I'm still losing and I'm still planning on losing so after nine months of doing the AIP diet that is all that I changed after nine months of doing the AIP diet my thyroid peroxidase antibodies went from 114 to 32 which is optimal because anything 34 and below is optimal so hi my thyroid isn't being attacked at all because the antibodies 
there's not a lot of them. So the thyroid peroxidase antibodies is supposed to be no more than one. It was at 7.10 and now nine months later, it's less than one and undetectable. Again, let me stress the fact that I did it before my hormones were really messed up. Because I caught it before my thyroid was destroyed and my hormones were affected, I was able to fix it before it was a major issue and I would need to take hormones and things like that. So again, it was hypothyroidism. I'm still at risk for hypothyroidism, but I reversed it before it became a major, major problem. Again, I do know people and I've heard of people and I've read about people fixing their hypothyroidism with the AIP diet even after their hormones are affected and stuff like that because many people do not diagnose it before they're actually having a major issue with their hormones, unfortunately. If you guys have any questions, I know this is kind of all over the place. I don't really know how to organize this information well. If you guys have any questions on the diet or what type of exercise I did or anything like that, definitely you can send me an email to my email below or comment down below and I will definitely get back with you. I just needed to put this information out there for myself because I just know that it would potentially help a lot of people and I was so blessed to have gotten the information that I got and I'm so blessed to have been able to completely reverse my hypothyroidism. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if it wasn't everything that you wanted, but if you want any more information on this, I'm definitely willing to make more videos on exactly how I did this. I just wanted to make kind of a topical video of putting information out there so people can do more research and kind of figure out their own specific circumstance. So thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe. I'm going to do more videos on hypothyroidism, kind of living a healthier life and weight loss. Of course, I've lost 126 pounds in the last nine months. So um, that is pretty significant. I'm going to be doing more videos on that. And I thank you so much for watching this today. I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome day. Thanks for watching.